Hello all. This video I want to talk about uh, using uh, JIT Hub and uh, how you can uh, help your uh, Arch Linux installation uh, by using the uh, JIT Hub uh, file, for example. So um, I have Arch Linux here ready to install. And usually what I do when it's in a virtual machine, obviously, is I press the tab key and where it has the image ISO image, press the space bar and put VGA equals something like 791. Should be a little easier to uh, put in commands. You see the screen's a bit larger. So I'll just wait for uh, this to uh, boot up. First of all, we want to synchronize whatever mirrors we have. So uh, Pacman dash SYY. Once it's finished, uh, we want to get a couple of things. Pac-Man, I'll zoom in. Um, Pac-Man dash capital S uh, reflector. This will also pull down our sink anyway. So, and uh, JIT. And depending on the connection, it might take a while or it might be uh, fairly quick. I should also mention uh, the reason I installed reflector is because. Um, the example I'm using. You don't have to install uh, Reflector in Arch Linux if you're not, if you don't need to. Uh, but this example is Reflector. So you, you, anybody can create a github.com uh, page and then you just upload simple scripts um, or just edit them from within GitHub itself just to keep it straightforward. And you see here I have Reflector and it has the URL here and this little button here is a copy of the clipboard so you can open a text editor and just paste that in and that's what we want to type inside our terminal so we'll go back to our uh, Arch Linux and control L to clear the screen back to the top here and what we want to do is clone it so it's a JIT clone and then the address https colon slash slash jit hub dot com slash the username for example it could be something else as well it, you can name it anything you want what, whatever you create and then reflector dot git and it's done it's very quick Right, so if you do an ls, you can see there's a new folder, reflector. So we'll just change the dot directory and do another list out. And you see there's a, a script here. There's several ways you can do this. It's just a, one example. So we have to uh, make this uh, executable, this uh, script. So it's a uh, you know chmod. Change the mode mod mode <laughs> uh, of the the uh, script do another ls you can see now it's changed color and you just do a dot a slash and script and what this does it just downloads um, mirrors from my country and sorts them by the rate and uh, I have 12 mirrors uh, split into groups of HTTP and rsync and then it just saves it to the Pac-Man D mirror list and then just spits out what it just did. So you could edit that, I guess, in Nano. Uh, if Nano is installed, script. And here's the script here. All you'd have to do, for example, if you wanted to use this, is just change this from Canada to, say, if it's uh, like United States, you'd put that in single quotes and then Control O to save and control X to exit and I'm just going to control X and no save okay and just go back to where you were and uh, you can proceed with your install but first uh, if you're going to use something like a reflector you want to um, Pac-Man dash capital S Y Y to, to resync those mirrors and hopefully they'll be a little quicker for you okay so that's it pretty straightforward uh, anybody like I said make an account on github and upload whatever you wish or edit whatever you wish and you can download it uh, just by simply uh, 
installing JIT inside Arch Linux. So that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.